Hey guys, I am going to be pretty detailed in this video. So if you just need a really quick overview, I will link a video over there. Okay, I am going to be pretty detailed, but I am assuming you do have some background with these trig buddies over here. So if that's not the case, I'll link a few videos over there that you may want to watch before this. Okay, but let's get going. Okay, you have probably been um, using these to find a side that's missing. Okay, now we are doing something very similar. We have two sides. We want to know what the angle is. So you've probably been doing where you have the angle on one side and you find the other side, but now we have two sides and we're finding the angle. I'm pretty sure I just said that twice. Sorry. Okay. So our whole goal here is to know what this angle is and we are going to use these guys. So here's my angle in question. So this side is the adjacent side, right? It's the one closest to my angle that's not the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the one across from the right angle. And this is the opposite side, but we don't really need to worry about it in this particular problem. Okay, but so the ones that we are using are adjacent and hypotenuse. So which one of these uses that? It is cosine, okay? So here's how we set this up. We know that the cosine of x degrees, whatever that is, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, okay? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So that gives me 20 over 29. Okay, so it's like, now what? So when we want to find the angle, we use what we call the inverse, the inverse cosine, okay? What does that look like? So it looks like this, the cosine, and we put a cute little negative one up there. Okay, and then we put our ratio, 20 over 29 equals that x squared. So basically what this says is, this is the cosine, what's the angle when you use the inverse, okay? Now you might be like, is that on my calculator? Well, if you have sine, cosine, and tangent on your calculator, it should be there. A lot of them... A lot of calculators, you use the sec oh sorry the second button, and then push whichever one you need. Okay, so I'm gonna push second, and I push cosine, but I don't know how well you can see it. But above the cosine, you see the inverse cosine. So when I hit second, it does the inverse cosine. Okay, make sure your calculator is in degrees, not radians. Okay, if you need to hurry and do a Google search or something to make sure. Um, or just put it in, and if you get the same answer as me, you should be in degrees, okay? Um, so cosine of negative one, and then I'm gonna type in 20 over 29 equals, all right, I get a nice big decimal. I'm gonna round it to two decimal places, round to wherever your teacher asks you to. So guess what? X equals 46 point, I'm gonna round it to four zero degrees. Look at that. We found that angle. Isn't that exciting? All right. Now, if they wanted you to find the other um, angle, you could do an inverse um, one of these again, or we always know that the three angles add to 180 and we have 90 and we have this one. So we could find that one just by subtracting from these two from 180, if that makes sense. Okay. Now, here's another one. The angle this time is M. I like to circle it just so I make sure I label my opposite and adjacent, right? So this is the hypotenuse. This across from it, further away is opposite. Right next to it is adjacent, okay? So the numbers we have are opposite and adjacent. So which one uses that? Tangent, okay? So how do we set this up again? We do tangent of m degrees equals opposite, which is 48, over adjacent, which is 55. Okay, we're looking for the angle, so I'm going to use the inverse. So the tangent with our cute little negative one up there of 48 over 55 is equal to m degrees, okay? Again, I'm just going to put that in here. I hit second 
tangent, that gives me the inverse tangent of 48 over 55 gives me, again, I'm gonna round to two decimal places, so I get 41.11 degrees. Okay, let's do our last one. This one, the one we are looking for is y degrees. So this is my opposite, this is my adjacent, and my hypotenuse. All right, so the, the values that we have are opposite and adjacent. So that is tangent again. So the tangent of y degrees is equal to opposite, so 12, over adjacent, which is 5. Now we're going to do the inverse. I had this memory that I think my math teacher called it the magical angle button or something. Anyway, that's funny. All right, so the inverse tangent of 12 over 5 is equal to y degrees. So now we get to pull our calculator out, and we get, I hit second tangent, that gives me the inverse, 12 divided by 5 gives me a nice long decimal. So I'm going to round it to 67.38 degrees. And just like that, you're done. Hopefully you can go to bed and have dreams of math that aren't nightmares.